Hi students, we are now discussing question number 9 of paper 1 of physics of JE Advanced 2022. So this question says that there is a capacitor with a dielectric medium in between and then what we did, we increased the separation between the plates of the dielectric so that the separation becomes double. Okay, And then certain options are given and we want to talk about those options. In the entire process, the battery stays connected with the capacitor plates. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the capacitance of this figure as C1 and this figure as C2. I'm going to assume that the area of the plate is A. Okay, so C1 will be written as A epsilon naught by D into K, which I can write as C naught into K, where C naught represents only this part. That means uh, the capacitor with air in between the plates instead of the dielectric. Now, this figure, this situation can be interpreted as the plates are separated by a distance of 2D such that there is uh, the a region of width D is occupied by air and another region of width D is occupied by dielectric. So, these two situations are exactly equivalent, no changes there. So, uh, when we treat it like this, I can consider this part as one capacitor, this part as another capacitor and these two capacitors are connected in series. So, the capacitance of this part will be C0 and the capacitance of this part will be K times of C0 which means that the capacitance C2 will be written as C0 into KC0 divided by C0 plus KC0. So, this turns out to be K times uh, C0 upon K plus 1 or we can write it as C1 by K plus 1. Okay, so we have written capacitance initially also and finally also. So, when I check the given option, I am uh, able to decide option B right now only. A, C, D, I am putting it on hold. We will check them. But option B talks about the capacitance is decreased by a factor. Now, here I have a point guys. Uh, when I check this expression, I would ideally describe this expression as that capacitance has decreased by a factor of k plus 1. Here it mentions it has decreased by a factor of 1 upon k plus 1. I guess this is not appropriate. Okay, I guess the correct way to mention would have been it capacitor uh, capacitance is decreased by a factor of k plus 1 or we could have said that the capacitance becomes these many times, this times of the original capacitance, that would have been a better way to say that. In, in fact, when I first attempted this question, I considered option B to be dubious or to be incorrect. Like I put it on hold and then I checked option A, C, D. Luckily, none of the options came out to be true as I'm going to prove it in a short while. So A, C, D, since they were all clearly incorrect, uh, so, at least one of the options must be correct. Therefore, it helped me getting rid of this dilemma. And therefore, we, I was able to uh, undoubtedly claim that option B should be the only option which is correct in this question. But if there had been any option correct apart from B, then there would have been a discrepancy. Like, then we don't know whether we should select B or not. And this question would have been uh, doubtful then. But Presently, it's all good because A, C, D are clearly incorrect. We'll see it in a short while. And B was doubtful. So that makes like A, C, D being incorrect makes option B correct. So right now I'm going to take on this that B is correct. And A, C, D we are going to check by one by one. Let's check out option C as it is the easiest one to check. It says that up the voltage between the capacitor plates increased by a factor. Now, here we have kept the battery connected with the plates of the capacitor. So this becomes the governing condition in this case. It basically means that whatever happens, the potential difference between the plates of the capacitor, it never changes to any other value from V. So it's going to remain as V. So that makes option C incorrect. Okay. Now we want to talk about option A and we want to talk about option D. Let's first talk about option A. How do we do that? Uh, figure B, figure B, this figure, I want to treat that figure as combination, series combination of two capacitors, okay, with one of the capacitor uh, having a value of KC0 and the other having a value of C0, okay. Now, in this situation, whatever is the applied voltage, we can break that voltage down into two parts. Let's call this one as VA 
or maybe let's say vx because a and b subscripts we are already using and let's call this as vy okay now in series combination of capacitor we know that the potential gets distributed in the inverse proportion of capacitances that basically means that when we are trying to write vy we can directly write it as k times uh, sorry guys this was c not only we can directly write it as c not divided by k c not plus c not into v so this becomes uh, v upon k plus 1 okay so the new value of electric field okay in this region of space okay that will be v y upon d so it will become v by d upon k plus 1 so it will become uh, uh, k plus 1 uh, like by k plus 1 of the initial value it will not be reduced by a factor of 2k rather it will be reduced by a factor of k plus 1 or you can say that the same factor which was applicable for capacitors the same will be applicable for electric field inside the dielectric material so even a option is wrong now we are left with option d so we want to calculate the work done in the process so what i'm going to write here is that work done by the external agent plus work done by the battery this should be equal to the increase in the energy of the capacitor so this is what i'm going to write so work done by the external agent will be given by work done by battery work done by battery will be written as emf of the battery into the final charge on the capacitor minus the initial charge on the capacitor that means the charge that has flown through the battery so that will be given by q2 minus q1 is equals to delta u now delta u will be written as half into c2 v square that's the final energy in the capacitor and minus half c1 v square so this becomes like w external becomes uh, w external plus v equal to now q2 can be written as c2 into v and q1 can be written as c1 into v so again i can take out half v square as the common quantity and we'll get c2 minus c1 okay so now work done by external agent can be written as i'll take this quantity on the other side so i'll first write whatever was present on the right hand side i'll first write it down so it will become half v square into c2 minus c1 minus of v square into c2 minus c1 so it turns out to be minus half v square of c2 minus c1 or we can say c1 minus c2 into v square by 2 have a look at this now c1 minus c2 is how much c1 was k times of c0 and c2 was k times of c0 upon k plus 1 into v square by 2 now you can stop doing calculation here only because it says that it does not depend on the presence of dielectric material but i do think that in this expression k is not going to get cancelled it is going to remain and just to be sure let's finish the calculation i'm taking out kc not as a common quantity so i get k plus one minus one that's k upon k plus one into v square by two so that is the answer that we are going to get and we can clearly see that it depends on uh, the value of k so even d option is incorrect so therefore the answer to this question would be only option b Alright guys, I hope you understood the solution. I hope you enjoyed the solution. Take care students. Bye-bye.